you can see that as I move this master arm, the slave arm just follows and copies exactly what it is I'm doing. So instead of having to sit here and think about, oh, where do I want to move this joint, this joint, this joint, I can just do it with my hands and uh, sort of pick and choose where I want to go pretty easily and pretty intuitively. One of the most famous examples uh, of this type of work was the uh, Fukushima nuclear disaster site. Operators had to go in. They couldn't actually go to the site itself where the reactor is they needed to turn them off. So they had to use teleoperation, uh, teleoperated robots, to go in and assess the situation and in some cases actually manually turn valves and things like that. And this was particularly interesting because even though the operators weren't in the site itself, they were close enough that the radiation was hitting them. And so they wanted to get that done as quickly as possible because every second that they were doing this task was time spent being bombarded by radiation. So in situations like that, it's critical that teleoperated tasks be done um, quickly and efficiently. This is the traditional way of doing it. So left and right on the gamepad stick and up and down on the gamepad stick uh, represent some axis movement of the robot arm, but it really is mentally taxing to do that. And so we want to make it easier by leveraging knowledge that we have about the robot arm and being able to sort of use this one-to-one -one controller that we have. So we've done research that shows that augmented reality doesn't help for simple tasks necessarily, or tasks that are pretty straightforward. Uh, we also found that people who uh, were very good at these sort of spatial type tasks benefited less from um, the master-slave type interface than those who kind of struggled with those kind of tasks. This is the virtual scene that you would see. Uh, you can move this view around however you want to sort of get a better view of what's happening in the robot scene. So if I wanted to look at it from a side view, I could do that or I could go from a top view and zoom all the way out and sort of get a better idea. We want to be able to leverage uh, things that robots are good at with uh, having sort of critical thinking skills and human judgment. And the way we do this is generally by using teleoperation, which is sort of remote control of the robot without line of sight. And when you do that, there's a lot of problems that sort of arise from that situation. You have to get all of your information essentially from the sensors on the robot and and you lose a lot of fidelity of that information. So what my research aims to do is try and get some of that fidelity of information back or at least improve the operator's understanding of what's happening in the remote site uh, by giving them more information than just what a camera video feed would give them. Long-term goals of the project would be doing more autonomy. Uh, you can get better fidelity with the augmented reality, giving more cues to the operator, but not so many cues that it's bothersome or that it hurts the chances of them succeeding at a task. So finding that balance between giving information and information overload is, is crucial. What we're trying to do is develop robotic systems that are able to autonomously map ship hulls while they're in port for the specific problem of